Tom Curran, Patriots insider, NBC Sports Boston. Was the plan to play two quarterbacks last night, Tom Curran? Yes. Yes, I fully believe that was the plan and that Bill Belichick and Mac Jones definitely were the two who were most in accord on that, Dan. Okay, tell me why they would play two quarterbacks. I believe that Bill wanted to get the rust knocked off of Mac Jones, see how he performed as he came back from his four-week layoff, and if he performed well, leave him out there. But his intention, I think, was to get Bailey Zappi in there as well because he didn't believe that Mac was 100%, which is uncharacteristic for Bill to do. But when I read Mike Florio's reporting on it, saying that Mac really pushed hard to play and Belichick eventually yielded to that, leads me to believe that this was less about a punitive benching for the horrific interception and more about, you know what, he's not really ready. Let's get him out now. Yeah, I wondered if it was going to take game action for him to realize that Mac Jones shouldn't have been out there. That that was what surprised me. And, you know, it's national TV. If this is a 1 o'clock game on Sunday, it's not as big a deal. Mm -hmm. But it's a big deal because it's a standalone game. You're supposed to beat the Bears. And do you have a quarterback controversy? Yeah, it's a big deal, too, because for the better part of three games, Bailey Zappi had come in and performed in a way that Mac Jones hadn't. The Patriots are now two and seven in Mac Jones' last nine starts. It's got, I believe it's 10 uh, touchdowns and 11 picks. And Bailey Zappi, the team is two and all with him under center. So for him to be serenaded, Mac Jones, by booze mm. as he's leaving the field and to hear an uproar for a fourth-round pick from Western Kentucky who has been a nice story when playing from ahead, but he ain't ready, it really just turned into a spectacle that didn't seem necessary. And, Dan, it, to me, I mean, we, you know Bill. We've been covering the NFL, both of us, for decades. It seems so uncharacteristic, but I really do believe that he was appeasing Mac Jones' request and pressuring him to play and said, okay, we'll get you out there. We'll play you some, but Bailey's going to come in. Ross Tucker, who played for the Patriots uh, back in, uh, well, 15 years ago, he said that Belichick loves to have you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But I don't want you uncomfortable at the quarterbacking position. As a defensive back or defensive lineman or offensive lineman, okay, I, I, I don't want you to settle in and you know take th things for granted. Uh, I got two quarterbacks who probably don't know where they stand right now. Yeah, and neither one is coming off what we would call a high at the moment. <laughs> uh, What's confusing about it is Belichick invited this by doing this. And, you know, he's usually got things so buttoned up. So was it also a case of taking the Bears a little bit lightly, which, again, would be an uncharacteristic decision? And it also invites, because you can't treat it like defensive tackle, it invites factions in the locker room. Bailey guy, Mac guy. In my experience in that locker room, talking to the players, listening to Belichick in July, talking about Mac's dramatic improvement and how he was drastically better than last year and he was really good. There isn't a quarterback controversy. Regardless of what we're watching unfold, I believe the Patriots believe Mac Jones is their quarterback of the future until he proves otherwise, which he might be on his way to doing. But it's not a quarterback controversy. They want Mac Jones to succeed. Talking to Tom Curran, the Patriots insider, NBC Sports, Boston. How do you think this plays out? Okay, who's starting against the Jets, in your opinion? Mac Jones. I, you know, and I say that with resignation because I wrote for two weeks, well, once Mac's ready to go, you just sail with him through the end of the year, and it took all of three series for, the, for that to be incorrect, Dan. <clears throat> uh, but I will believe it will be Mac Jones, and you ride with the guy. Is this still a playoff team? They're going to nose around the cusp of the uh, threshold of the brink of it. I had them as an 8-9 and nine team, and they did engender a lot of optimism in the last three weeks. Performance in Green Bay, win over Detroit, and win over uh, Cleveland, both in you know convincing fashion. But then these nights happen, and you get blown out by probably the 30th best team in the league at home, and you start to look back and go, was that real? Or do the Lions really stink? And are the Packers kind of crappy? And maybe the Browns also stink. And maybe they stink too. So it's that little we go like this. If I put this to a vote with the fans, who would they pick? 
as of 10 o'clock last night, it would be <laughs> Dr. Zappi. <laughs> Uh, this morning, I think our little guy turned into a pumpkin. So it's 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 back to Mac until further notice, I would think. But that's what Twitter is for, and I will be sending out a poll shortly. Okay. Great to talk to you, as always. You're a good guy. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Tom E. Curran, Patriots Insider.